see what he does. Goes for some super wave dash. Ty's just content to run away and shoot lasers. Easy combos. Covers his return with a bomb. That's nice. That Zare is really fun. It's fun to use that. Oh, misses that super wave dash. Misses that super wave dash. Gives up on it and decides to charge up. Ty is just ready to, to, to stick it out against him. Oh, there's that grab. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just jabs the missile. Ty knows. Ty knows. Alright. He misses that super wave dash again. Alright. He gets stuffed for it. This is why I'm not too impressed with super wave dash stuff, because you could always just get hit out of it. It's not like all those cool characters that have dacuses that go across the entire stage and puts out a hitbox the whole time. Oh, it's the bomb. I know that I know that tech skill. I invented that tech skill. Spot dodge, down smash, where's Oh, is he gonna shoot it? Ah. There we go. It's still really close. I feel like Ty probably hasn't warmed up with his fox right now, because it looks like he's uh, kind of fumbling around at the moment. Ty's just going to wait this out. Sorry, I'm just kind of watching this right now. Not much to say. I, I really probably should give this up to a Project Melee person. But I mean, these are two melee characters. I know, it's just I kind of want to watch it more than I want to talk about it. But it seems like Ty is just still kind of pressing buttons right now. Ty is a very old school player. This is an esports person. So there's a lot more. Yeah. They made Super Wave Dashing easier in this game, and Super Wave Dashing isn't like doing a Dacus or like other characters where you're putting out a constant hitbox. If someone starts a bomb, you have 40-some frames to react to it and do something. You can either just shield, or you could throw out an up smash or something like that. I don't know. I just... I don't think the text says it's useful, even though they made it easier. I mean, I appreciate that they made it easier. But there's a lot of things I have to question about it. But right now, Ty, uh, Ty just needs to land that one up smash and then get stock advantage. He's also not doing the best punish against that grapple. Instead of like trying to, to jump up and back air, you should just run on stage and up smash. Oh, that works. Oh, Ty's just getting hit by everything. Oh, lets himself go down. That's that's not his plan. Oh, 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 that was an easy kill. But it kind of lets it go. Alright, Ty playing a little bit more defensive now, baiting out the aggression. Behind though, he needs to be aggressive. Up oh, and not not quite. This this Pokemon Stadium must be a little bit uh, higher ceiling than the original, the OG Pokemon's. I don't know why he doesn't just throw out moves. I feel like you should know the, the spacing for that. Oh, this is probably gonna be it. Oh, there it is. Well, here's the thing about Super Wave Dashing. It's got quite a bit of a tell on it because you have a long period of time between dropping the bomb and moving. You can do the double back thing, but all that does is weave you out of conflict. So, ultimately you're doing the move just to go away. It doesn't really help you because even if you bait something out, you're not going to be punishing it. Secondly, you can be hit while doing it, so you move really fast and as long as they throw out a move, you're going to get hurt. Uh, you can throw out forward smash and that hits out in front of you. 
but if you're doing that every single time, then all I have to do is shield. So if I see you dropping bomb, I shield, and then when you fly by me, I turn around and punish you. I don't think Ty's right in the mental space to handle that right now, because it's obvious that his movements aren't on point. So I think he's uh, he's trying to get his control down before he starts trying to, to punish really weird gimmicky stuff. We'll see. We'll see how the the counter pick goes because he did he did win with two stocks on the scoreboard. So it's not like it's, uh, it's super close, but obviously the Samus knows what he's doing. He, he only gave up one suicide, so if he doesn't suicide at all, it's gonna be a whole lot closer. I don't want to commentate Project Melia, so you can just give it to someone else. We'll give it to me, can't? You're not taking a chair. Hey guys, Zach, shout out to everybody. Any AZPM Ganon mains? Not really. Alright. Alright guys, we got game two of Ty vs. Josh. We got Fox vs. Samus Yoshi's Brawl. Uh, I'm not. Uh, it's pretty why this stage Samus has walls to wall jump for more even more recovery uh, The stages are nice. Uh, I don't know if he's too experienced in banning part of the matches That's definitely something that's not as natural as playing uh, He probably just really enjoys playing this stage. I can't see any super obvious advantage or disadvantage for either character The ceiling's sort of small so Fox up smash will kill pretty early but other than that uh, it's reasonable enough. I'm assuming Kai was able to ban the large stages. So we'll see what happens. Hey, what's up, stream? I noticed we didn't have any commentary, so okay. Uh, my name is Jesus. We are here on Monday Night Smash what, 4. Is this Monday Night Smash 4? Anyways, we have um, Josh playing Samus, and we have Ty going Fox, going in there with Fox. Ty, if people are familiar with Ty, he's a melee player, melee mart. Really solid. Josh is somebody who is a new face. He's a new Oh wow, I guess this is fourth tournament I was just told right now by our TO. And he can... What? He can actually, with four tournaments, I wonder how long he's been playing. He's able to do that uh, super wave dash with Samus. It's pretty impressive. I, I can't even do it. I don't even know how to do it. Anyways, so we did, we got what? Game two here on Yoshi's Brawl. We got Ty working on a four stock though. I don't know if Josh had melee experience, knows how to deal with Fox. It's kind of rough. You have no idea what you're doing. Ty base out the blast and back air to up smash that it hits. Wow, 2 0, a 4 stock. 4 stock from Ty. Are we allowed to ban people after they get 4 stock? Alright, Zach the Chico says no. Hey, Ty. That, <laughs> that, that 4 stock, man. Why'd you do that to the kid? <laughs> I actually wanted to give him this chance. Back air to up smash? Who does that? Dude. Yeah, with a back air? From one side of the stage, run up up smash. I mean, there wasn't much Samus for him, so I just, like... I knew was at death percent, so... Have you guys started? I mean, he might have been able to trade, but... I think if we traded, I would have... He would have got the worst of it. He would have died with that trade. Yeah, it didn't matter. No problem. No problem. Yeah, like... Well, I'm also playing it, like... I like my favorite Samus knowledge and one of her biggest feelings is that if she's a bear, she makes down, she's not very strong. Mm. Well, you just, like her aerials are pretty slow, she, she's, pretty, she's really floaty, she falls down slowly, and her, I don't know, she just doesn't cover this area very well. Well, you definitely exposed that. So we got, we got it, is that Angel? And, oh it is, it's Angel from Flagstaff, Yoshi played from Flagstaff. And we have Danny Ice from Pinal County. 
Danny Ice. Danny Ice is uh, come, up and coming here in Arizona. Definitely been coming out and doing work. Definitely, definitely trying to get get up there with the rest of Top AZ. IC3. And we have striking going on right now. Everybody, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. How many? Oh, we have a good amount of views. That's really cool. Is Melee over? No, we're going to Melee super early in the week. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, cool. I don't know if they make the match that I just played wasn't Are you serious? Yeah. Do they, do they, are they playing? Yes. Okay. Okay. So I...